We are here with Ian Quick, the balloon artist. Hi. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good, well, thank you very much for having me here. It's a thank lot of fun. Uh, so you guys been doing this all week? Yeah. Camp yeah. Rogers, that's pretty cool. Guess what I do all week? Balloon artist. But, uh, amongst Why other magic? things, I'm actually, yeah, I'm a balloon artist. I'm a magician. My company, we do all sorts of cool birthday yeah. stuff. Birthdaypartymagic.ca. Balloons, magic, face painters, bouncy castles, superheroes, giant games, and the whole bit. But today, for now, I'm here about the balloons. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you guys like me to make? Um, anything. A snake. Anything. A snake. <laughs> actually, it's funny you should say that. A lot of people assume if you just blow one up, it's a snake. But I actually do a very cool snake that uses four balloons. And uh, I'm going to show you that right now. It uh, actually even uses a very cool technique that is not often seen. It's a little complicated, takes a bit of practice. Now, when you make these, you can't be afraid of the balloon popping because it's going to happen. But what you've got to do first is a series of weird little bubbles. Yeah. And we're just going to push inside here like this. Got to do this a couple more times. Is that hard? This particular move, it's, it's a little tricky. It takes a lot of practice to be able to push it in straight yeah. because you're fighting the air on both sides and it yeah. wants to wobble around. But the reason we do this is, check this out, this is the coolest balloon move you will ever see. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to have scared you. But this part here it's makes... It's really cool now. I too. know, right? <laughs> this makes the rattle for the rattlesnake. Oh, All right, really? now, now, hang on to this for a moment. That's so a rattlesnake. Thank you very much. It is a rattlesnake, yes. I don't do regular snakes. No, we go fancy. We do the rattlesnakes. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to blow one up. This will be the snake's main body part. So, again, I don't want to just do the straight balloon for the snake. Yeah. Kind of dull. So we're going to add some details here. We're going to give it... Guess what part this is? An eye. Huh? Two eyes. Two eyes. That's <laughs> right. Two eyes. Put them together. Get that little oh, mouth bit so going. Cute. Oh, that looks so cute. Give it a bit of shape. We're going to put on the rattle. So okay. I'll take this part on. And we're just going to tie it right on like this. So how yeah. long have you been doing balloon art? Uh, that's a good question. I've been, uh, I've been doing balloons for about a dozen years now, I guess. Okay. I've been doing magic for about 22, but then I decided to expand my repertoire a little bit. So I started playing with balloons too. And uh, this is the result. I do all sorts of fancy high-end balloons. You know, puppy dogs are cute, but everybody does puppy dogs. I want to do something a little different sometimes. What's your favorite thing to make? Like, why do you like it so much? To be honest, my favorite thing to make is always something I haven't made yet. Yeah. Uh, just because um, I enjoy the challenge, the creativity <laughs> of doing something new and different. However, there are always a few crowd favorites. Uh, when I do fairs and festivals or birthday parties, uh, little monkeys are always quite popular. Uh, little ladybugs. Um, assorted superheroes are kind of fun as well. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I can't mention names for copyright purposes. But anyways, here is your little rattlesnake. There you. Would you guys like to learn how to make a balloon animal? All right, sure. Yeah. Okay. We got time for this. I'm going to teach you guys how to make the basics. We're going to start with the puppy dog, okay? All right. I've uh, taken a liberty of pre-inflating a few of these. Which color would you like? Um, red. Red? Blue? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take the out. Here's what you're going to do. First off, you always start with the end that has the knot, not the other side, okay? Because so as end? you twist, Yeah. Because okay. as you twist, the air pushes forward. That's why we leave a little reservoir. Okay. And if you just twist and let go, it's not going to hold, okay? You need a lot, exactly. You need some contact points. The friction is what holds it there. So what you're going to do is you're going to twist it a bit, kind of hold it there with your pinky, and twist again. Yeah, doing pretty good. Now fold it over at the second twist. Now you see this line here? Yeah. yeah. Grab both of them together and turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that happens. It's an occupational hazard. Let me just prep another one for you here. I got it. You did. Good yeah. on you. Didn't pop yet. Here you go. And that yes, makes yeah. your little doggy head and your little doggy ears. We're just going to let Ainsley catch up here a little bit. Yeah, give it a nice little twist. Now fold it a second, grab them both together. Yes! Good job! Yeah, you can't be afraid of it popping. It's going to happen, okay? It's inevitable. So you got your doggy head okay. and ears. Now do the same thing. You're going to make the neck and then the front paws. All right. Don't be afraid to give it several turns, otherwise you get this weird uh, loopy thing going on here. All right? So when you twist it, give it two, three good turns. There you go, looking good, Ainsley. 
All right. Now one last time for the hind legs. And you've got yourself a cute little balloon dog. Go. No. Right. Yeah, right no. now. <laughs> He's a little upside down. There, there you go. go. And now you're ready. Oh, other side. Your legs are pointing up. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and now we're ready for a best in show. Congratulations, guys. Beautiful balloon dog. It's easy to do, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually really good. Easy. They're a lot of fun. And, of course, you can take this a step further. You saw, you saw the snake here. Let me show you something mm -hmm. else that's very cool. Um, I'm going to grab one of these here. This is a crowd favorite. This is the one that makes all the ladies go, aww. <laughs> so you might want to learn this one, okay? Seriously, you're going to think this is very adorable. All right. Now, the best part about this one, too, what I like is sometimes this is what happens when you're doing uh, fairs and festivals. Kids get their balloon. They're very excited. They're very happy. But then it's like, Mommy, can you hold this? Yeah. <laughs> and poor Mom and Dad, they're stuck holding the balloons. So I have a few designs that can also be worn as bracelets. So this is actually kind of neat. I think you see where this is going, right? Yeah. Ladybug, maybe because of the dots. Oh, okay. That's right. It is a ladybug, or it will be anyways. Yeah. Now, Ainsley, what's your favorite color? Um, pink. Pink. All right. <laughs> Classic girl color. That's all right. No, it happens all the time. Little girls, it's always pink or purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it pink antennas. Okay. That way, because all bugs have antennas. Yeah. There we go. Grab a little bit of pink here. And actually, this is kind of fun too. Once you cut this off, here's another cool balloon move. Huh, that's cool. It's just like sucking on a straw. Yeah. There you go. And you wrap that around. Add some pupils. And this one, my dear, is usually a crowd favorite, <laughs> just to get your wrist. And oh, voila. Yeah. That's so cool. That's cool. Thank you very much. So yeah, you can do countless things really with balloons. Once, it, once you get to that level, um, I treat them more like, like Lego blocks than actual balloons. You break mm -hmm. off what you need, add some more, and you can build pretty much anything. Wow. So uh, thanks for coming in. We'll actually see you later in the show, and yes, you're going to you be showing us a bit of magic tricks. <laughs> magic. All so right, you guys excited for the magic? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I look forward to I've got a couple of great tricks planned for you. So, so uh, now let's check out what they do in cartooning camp. 